Dominic Blackwell Cooper here. We love being in our own vehicles for privacy and comfort, but we also love how rapid transit takes us from place to place, no muss, no fuss. What if we could combine the best of both worlds? Once again, urban mobility is ahead of the curve. Let's check out the newest form of transportation, personal rapid transit, AKA PRT. If there was a solution from conventional transport, we'd have found it by now, because a lot of bright people have worked on it. And I think the only solution to better mobility is some form of new transport. I was a rocket scientist, right? And I can tell you, there's no rocket science in PRT. It's really simple stuff. You can nearly always solve technical problems. It may take a bit more money or time than you thought, but you can always find a solution. After all, we landed then on the moon. And if you do that, well, you can certainly solve all the other problems which you've got. It's a system that consists of small, lightweight vehicles that are driverless and fully automated. Go to the nearest stop, go through a touchscreen process, and you, that tells the vehicle where you want to go. Then you get aboard the vehicle, and it takes you where you want to go. And when you get to the other end, you get, you get out of the vehicle, and it either waits there for the next fare, or takes itself to where there's no demand. The control system can be viewed as one driver driving all cars in a city instead of having multiple drivers. One of the big benefits of PRT is that it's emission free because it's electric. But it's not just emissions free, because it's a small vehicle and it runs at low speed, it actually uses less energy in the first place than other forms of transport. PRT is not about uh, replacing the existing uh, transit networks. It's more about being a complement to already existing and make it more efficient. I mean, for example, with buses, particularly in bigger cities, the bus goes to the terminal. And when you get to the terminal, that's not actually where you want to be. You want to be somewhere else in the city. You know? And you probably want to, you may want to, want to be half a mile or a mile. Now, that's actually known as the last mile problem. And it's a well-known problem in, in mobility. Now, we can solve that problem by putting a network around. And if we can put a network around, the, around that, we can attract people onto the buses or onto the, onto the trains because they know when they get to, get to the terminal, they can get a PRT system which take them where they really want to be. One of the biggest issues in, in cities today are that uh, it takes too long to go to your work and you spend more and more time on sitting on different transit modes, time which you don't really benefit to the society at all. If PRT could help reducing the time you were spending going from work to your home so that you can actually spend more time with your family or contributing to society in some other way, I think PRT is, uh, is the right way to go. I believe that it can play a major role in 21st century transport. But you mustn't forget that currently we're at a very early stage. We have to go about this slowly and cautiously and do things which we can guarantee we can deliver. But if we do that in a proper way, 
I'm sure that we will get to a stage in 50 years' time where PRT is a major part of the scene. PRT is a concept whose time has come. Perfect for the days when you just don't feel like driving, but still need to get to where you're going in style. I'm telling you, after this, the days of beaming up can't be far behind, right? Until next time, I'm Dominic Blackwell Cooper on the Urban Mobility Watch. <laughs>